Hello and welcome to another replay. This time it's going to be game number three in the best of three series between the one and only Nesty. Spawning is the blue Zerg in the bottom right hand corner. And Stefano spawning in the top right hand corner. So here we're going to have drones mining just like they usually do here at the beginning of the of a game so nothing really really exciting I really like Stefano's style of playing he's a very macro oriented player so if Nesty is unable to stop him in the early in the early portions of the game then he might just get out macroed we'll see exactly what happens then uh, just a little uh, friendly banter going on here good luck uh, eyes in the face with the slash uh, I'm not sure what that is uh, just eyes uh, IPL observed by the way is Nesty in this game this is a the third match in the IPL season four I actually do not win, know when this was uh, when this took place and it looks like Nesty's going for that extractor before he gets a spawning pool same actually here with well no uh, instead it's gonna be a little later extractor but a little bit earlier spawning pool here for Millennium Stefano both top tier Zerg players Stefano just played actually in the uh, in the MLG USA Cup uh, he did not make it to the top he, he did not make it to the finals. He got knocked out by, I believe it was, uh, actually I don't recall who it was now, but uh, that was just the other day, so let's see exactly what he decides to do here. Both players going very similar builds, but Nesty is able to get the metabolic boost out just a hair, just a hair quicker than than ST, or uh, than Stefano, rather. And this is actually very interesting. We're going to see exactly what each player is going to decide to do. Nest, he's going to go for the Baneling Nest, and even Stefano going for that nest as well. So, very, very similar builds here from both players. This is going to be very, very micro-intensive, and I say very a lot, so I'm going to stop saying it now. And actually, without scouting, he is going the wrong direction. Does he think he cross Where, Where are those Zerglings going? Um, no, okay, he's headed this way. Uh, the Zerglings here from Nest, he will be able to fend this off, though there aren't very many Zerglings for Stefano. Actually, it's 6-6, six to six, but Nesty got an early shot off, and uh, now it's 8-6, to six, and Nesty's going to have to back up. Four, five Banelings morphing in right now. Both players have to know there are, there are some on the way for his opponent as well. Where is, he warp, where is he morphing those in? Where are they? They're just Zerglings going back and forth here. This is exactly why Zerg versus Zerg can be so volatile is because they can all explode just do so much damage on these zerglings early in game if you don't get any roaches if you don't get into any tech switching if you go straight to this this style here you could do a ton of damage to these these drones and they're gonna ex oh they escape with a, a, oh my goodness these are very very close the drones barely surviving there uh Let's take a look at the units lost. Um, we have here 1425 to 925, so not doing as much damage as, he's, as he as he would like to. Uh, drones lost. Let's see, our workers lost. Um, no, that's cutscene. If you want to see a cutscene, it's a uh, Control W. Uh, I don't think you really want a cutscene right now. I want to know what's going on in this map, the mini map, and there are a lot of zerglings here. Let's go back to the production tab. One, two Banelings are here. They might be the, turn the tides of this battle, but it's going to be very, very tough. They're, oh, it, 
hardly any drones here. I must have missed it that they did so much damage to the drones. Let's take a look at the unit. No, they're 11 drones to 6. Stefano GG's. He just did not have the economy. He, he lost all of his drones, and it all came down to something that I missed. Uh, it, the, the great positioning of Nesti, he was able to deal with that aggression early on, and he fended it off with fairly minimal losses. And then Nesti was just able to do a great counterattack. That's exactly what, how it happened. So this is why Zerg vs. Zerg is so volatile. You can One Baneling can change the tide of, of battle so quickly that it really isn't funny. It's so micro-intensive that there's really nothing you can uh, do to stop it. And this has been such a short game. I'll see you guys next time. This has been Prony Before 5.